I guess the teachers here teach more by not by getting up in front of you and talking, but by maybe pointing you in the right direction and saying, go for it, while the other teachers would give a lecture for an hour or whatever. And so there was less student-teacher interaction and more teacher to the student as opposed to both ways. Um, so that's a big difference with the teacher-student interaction. Um, I know when I was in the elementary school, I never really saw the teachers together at all. So they were always with their class or working alone in their room. So I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the staff might have a better relationship with each other here. And not having a principal, I think they all feel like they can be more open and honest with each other. I think if they know me better, they know what motivates me better, and then they can help me motivated, get motivated in that way, or their just ability to be there for me or for other students and be a friend, too. Um, project proposal team will have, I think, normally three advisors, normally two, your advisor, another advisor, and a TA. They'll all come together and meet with you and the other students about your projects that you're working on and figure out how much credit you get and that whole aspect. And so, as opposed to a definite grade from one teacher, you, you'll get a group of teachers that say, I think you deserve this much for that amount of work you put into that. They have meetings like once a week, or actually twice a week, I think, before school and after school to talk about whatever the teachers talk about. And then we'll go on staff retreats. And um, a lot of times after school, I'll just see them kind of hanging around, talking. It's there's like not a principal, so there's not that big figure that you think of as head of the school, I guess. And so that kind of would point out that teachers own it a little bit, and they seem to work together more. There's no threat to go to the principal's office. And so if for punishment, the, a group of advisors or teachers will get together to figure out the problem as opposed to one supreme authority. No, I don't feel like I can get away with any more, I guess. I think it just helps build better relationships with your teachers and more respect because they're the supreme authority as opposed to your principal. Kind of like put a hierarchy in the school, which would throw things kind of funny for a loop for a while because all of a sudden the advisors wouldn't be in charge but Dee would be in charge. So as opposed to being a group in charge, would be her. And so if the students wanted to try to do something as soon as Congress, it wouldn't be just a matter of convincing the advisors, but if she didn't like it, it's not going to happen, period. So as opposed to convincing half of them or whatever that this is a good idea, you'd have to convince her. And I don't know, a principal would seem like this big figure that could possibly get you fired if you said the wrong words or something, whereas with a bunch of teachers all working together, I guess the teachers have more control. And so if they all get along well and they all seem to do a good job, they'll stand up for each other. I don't think it would change the way they interact with the students so much, but probably the way they interact with the other teachers. And so that would probably change, in a way, some of the stuff they do with the students. You have a student congress group that I have been a part of, and they, we do have draft some of our own rules and have a, it's kind of nice because we can, if we don't like a rule, we can try to draft something that'll be different and take to the staff and try to change it. And it doesn't always work, but it gets a good discussion going at least. And so that's one, yeah, we do have a student congress. I don't think that would work very well. Because, um, I don't know, the teachers are in charge to, and the principal's in charge, and, and I mean, I'm sure if all the students got going on one thing, they could probably change some stuff, but changing a lot would be difficult. I don't think they're always happy with all the progress that gets done. But then whenever they see a kid that does something really cool, they're like, yes!
this year there was a big problem with noise at the beginning of the year with a lot of the new students and old students alike and so they sat down and talked about it and then they talked to some of the students about it and we worked on trying to change that and the volume did come down quite a bit. I know there were about 20 students in here and a couple of teachers that were the, I don't know, people from the staff that they decided were going to talk to the students about it and they came in and were like, this is our problem, do you guys have any ideas how to change it? And so we came up with ideas together and implemented some of them. You know, I feel lucky to have that opportunity to be able to figure that out with them and that they'd respect me enough to be like, you know, we want you involved in this. I guess problems might not be dealt with right away. Like sometimes my advisor will be sucked away into a meeting about finances or something and when you need to talk to him and so that's one of the downsides I guess. And a lot of times D's gone at a meeting or our other advisors and so you're like, oh, I need to talk to him but they're not here. So that's one of the downsides but I think the positives outweigh the negatives.